That's aggressive music. Any hoosies. Last night, I took myself on a date to my most favorite place, a Minnesota Lynx game. And I left that date like I left most dates I went on in my 20s and 30s in utter shambles. The Lynx lost. It was our third loss in four games and left us at 12 wins and 10 losses. Eighth place in the league. This is unprecedented territory for this team and for Lynx fans of this team. So for advice on how to handle the state of our squad, I knew of only one person I could turn to. I'm here today to talk about the team I care about. I just need your advice. Okay. Yes? What do you do when the team you care about is losing? Uh, I just have to believe. Believe in what? Believe that they're gonna get a big turnaround. Talk about a terrible game. We, I just did, was at my soccer camp and I got absolutely crushed. Nine to one. I taught myself that I just need to stay positive. Yeah. So is that what you would tell the Lynx players and Coach Reeve to do? I probably would. If you have one streak one year, it doesn't mean you'll have another streak the other year. Right. And you know, sometimes they just lose their game. People lose their game. Like, some years Teddy's good, some years Teddy's not good. There has to be a year where someone doesn't have the best streak. Mm. There has to be a year when they go down, down in the trenches. Mm -hmm. And there's also a year when they, when they win the championship. Mm -hmm. Highs and lows. Coach Reeve said last night, you can't give someone will. You can only do so much. You can't give someone will. You know, that's, that's internal. What would you say to Coach Reeve, who she's struggling right now? Give them a nice pep talk. Um, tell them to work hard. Work hard. Walk into the locker room. Give the talk. Well, go on a diet for eating too much candy and start eating proteins. Oh. And all, number three, practice. That's the key thing, practice. Practice your swisherooskies and practice your defense. If I were Lindsay Whalen, what would you say to me right now? This is your year and you're gonna retire. You have, you've got to turn it around. Wait, Lindsay Whalen's gonna retire? She'll, I think she's gonna retire this year. Yeah, but I don't want Lindsay Whalen to retire. Well, you still have Maya Moore. Maya Moore, what would you say to her? I mean, her shots just are not falling. I feel so bad for her. Well, don't eat candy, don't watch TV, and also practice. Can we amend the second part? I mean, TV's not so bad. Like, you can watch like one TV show. Like, which one? Nickelodeon Universe! Ha <laughs> ha! We'll be right back. Oh, I gotta tell you, Chris, you weren't here. We let him take over one show. Uh, he still can't call this one his favorite. That's all right. That's all right. Always wise, Obadiah. And I might add, uh, the hair. You guys have a similar do going on. Kind of got that Euro soccer thing going. He's looking good. He does. Kinda he's he's growing older. up. He's growing up right before our eyes. Yeah, but he doesn't have any curl to it. But he's right. certainly got the handsome man haircut going. Always wise, though. Stay off the candy. Number one, Lynx. Stay off the candy. He's blaming candy. Eyes on the prize. Up and downs. You got to keep fighting back. Resolve, you yeah. know. Swisherooskies. Swisherooskies. Best line of the day.